Reef DVM's coming at you here. We're going to do a combination bale spear pallet fork project. We're going to take a John Deere pallet fork and we're going to add a bale spear to it. Previous video we took a 4x4 piece of steel and uh, we drilled some holes in it to accept it. And we went and bought ourselves a bale spear with a threaded end on it and a bullet that holds it in, which is great. As you can see here, it's got kind of a thick side and a thin side, so it's you know fits the uh, bale spear perfect. Again, this was all purchased. We're going to stick it in our um, piece of 4x4 metal. Uh, we're going to basically then uh, line this up in the pallet fork. Uh, and then we're going to put it in the center of the pallet fork. And then we will be able to uh, put the bale spear in it and tighten it down with a nut on the back side. And uh, we'll be able to use the pallet fork to pick up um, bales uh, with this bale spear. The nice thing about a John Deere pallet fork is the pallet forks actually come off. So we can slide the pallet forks to the middle, pop them off, and then uh, basically thread in the, um, the bale spear, as you can see here, and use it as a combination tool. And when we don't want the bale spear, we unthread it, pull it off, put the pallet forks on, we're good to go. Uh, two pieces of equipment, um, but uh, only uh, one actual piece, which is nice. Saves room in the barn and makes it uh, cost effective for us. First thing we're going to probably have to do here though is get this steel cut down to the right size to fit inside the pallet fork. And to do that we're going to start with a cardboard template. So this is the inside of the pallet fork in the middle. And we just did like a cardboard uh, template. We took our steel to the workbench and uh, took out the old sawzall with a metal bit. And started cutting out that template so we can get it to the size we want. Once we got this steel cut out, uh, this is pretty hard steel by the way. It did take a little bit of effort to get it cut out. Um, then we'll be ready to weld it into the um, uh, John Deere pellet fork. Again, the, the key to doing this is is the front face of this has to be almost flush uh, with the pallet forks so that the pallet forks can, when the bale spear is not in place, slide over the top to be removed. So here we are, we're going to weld in the uh, collar um, which holds the bale spear and we're going to weld it on the inside and we're going to weld it on um, the outside all the way around. So it's going to be a very strong weld. In this case, we'll probably use an arc welder. Um, probably could use a really big TIG, but I don't own one, so we're going to use an arc welder. We're also going to trial fit it before we do this. This is what it'll look like in the uh, pallet fork. So the forks are on here in this picture, but again, the forks will be able to come off. We're going to do some alignment, make sure we get it aligned right. I'm going to use a couple rulers and uh, some levels and just make sure the fork is straight in the piece of metal. Uh, basic, you know, measure one, uh, twice, uh, cut once kind of story. And then we're going to start welding this up and we're going to take an arc welder. Um, I'm going to use a 220 arc welder made by Lincoln and we're going to weld this collar in place and we're going to weld it both, like I said, inside and outside. Welding is kind of fun. You get used to it. Um, sorry about the bright light here. Uh, there'll be some brighter spots here as you see us weld this up. Big thing about welding I've always found is make sure you have a good ground, a good contact. Once we get done welding this up, we're going to freshen the edges. Um, that'll make it a little easier to weld it into the uh, uh, pallet fork system that we're going to put it into. We'll leave a little gap there at the bottom, let water run out. And then we're also going to hit it with a primer before we uh, stick it on the uh, pallet fork because we won't be able to prime the inside. We even put some black paint on it. So here is the pallet fork without the forks. It's on our John Deere tractor here. As you can see it's it's well used pallet fork but uh, we'll paint that all up at the end. It uh, hooks in with a standard skid steer type mount onto the system. So the pallet fork is a very versatile tool. And then there's our, our uh, device that we've created and here it is just sitting in there. So we've just put this in um, and we're test fitting it with the uh, for, or the spear in place and the forks off the pallet fork. So this is what it'll look like. The nice thing about doing it this way too is when you stab a bale without having um, any other forks the bale will spin around to the lowest point so when we load it onto semis we'll always have the heavy end down. So my brother here is going to help me out. Um, we're going to weld this in place. There was a lot of measuring and making sure it was in the correct place before we welded this, folks. Um, didn't want to bother you and bore you with all that. So again, we're just going to arc weld this baby right into the center of the pallet fork. It's kind of fun to weld these things in place. Once we get this welded in place, we'll touch it up with some more 
uh, automotive primer and then we're going to paint the whole entire pallet fork um, black um, and then the bale spear at that point will be ready to test out and again the nice thing is we can slide the pallet forks on or off we can take out the bale spear by unthreading it on or off and again we make a nice combination tool here for the farm be able to spear a bale pick it up the bale will be able to rotate uh, around on the spear to the heaviest point down we'll be able to load them up on semis and stuff for people and then yet when we want we can take the spear off put the pallet forks on and lift pallets around the farm which is great so here it is um, welded up it looks really good um, we're going to start the uh, painting process here and spray it up and uh, she'll basically be ready to use after it dries out uh, here it is all black and painted uh, we covered up the stickers uh, with masking tape and then just unmasked them. Looks really nice. I'm about ready to put the fork actually in it at this point. So this is a John Deere pallet fork that's been um, modified by us to accept a bale spear, which is really nice. This bale spear is rated up to over 2,500 pounds. And uh, the way we welded it in, it should be able to take that quite effectively. So here it is all put together. So you can see the nuts in the back side of it there. Um, it's all ready to go. We can basically drive the tractor up to it, hook up to it, and uh, ready to use this product. Appreciate you watching, folks. Please subscribe and like to our channel so we continue to put out great videos like this. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment and we'll try to answer them.